guys, welcome back to Lux Please. I'm Gabrielle Michelle, and welcome back to my Chic Chateau. Today we're doing a little decorate with me video, and we're gonna go ahead and decorate my fireplace mantle. For those of you who watch my empty house tour, know that this was a must for me. I really wanted a fireplace. I love to gather around it at the Christmas time, and I'm so excited because we actually got it. So now we're decorating for the holidays because Christmas is upcoming and we all want a little bit of joy in our lives. So let's deck the halls and get started. So let's get started. Everything I got was from Hobby Lobby. I was actually able to get in there as they were sitting at Christmas stuff. You guys, this never happens to me. I was like, oh my gosh, everything's here. So everything was 50% off because Hobby Lobby is always having a sale really quickly on the seasonal items. And the closer you get to Christmas, the more it's off. I think it might be up to 60 at this point, but you gotta be careful with that. You'll get more discounts, but you'll have less options. So do that what you will with that. So I got these garlands. I will put everything in the prices of everything down below in the description box. But it's just really pretty and it's thin and it'll be great for anybody who has a minimalist minimalist style. I have a very luxurious style, so I'm gonna build off of this a little bit, but I think it's really pretty. It's gold, it has pine cones, it's Christmas spirit. So I got three of these and I'm just going to lay them on the fireplace, have some symmetry and just kind of build from there. <laughs> on both sides it's already starting to look really beautiful on top of the pieces that I already had so now I'm gonna take this last piece to add the fullness in the center and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half it's gonna give it a little bit more fill right there in the middle okay so it's gonna need some a little bit of an adjustment but we will adjust it as we continue to add all right this one we have so far change of plans i walked away so i could move the camera and everything came tumbling down so you are going to want something to hold your garland on to your fireplace because these do have a little bit of weight to them with all the pine cones and stuff like that so what i decided to do instead is use what i got which is this beautiful picture of me and my husband and i went ahead and stuck the ends under it and that third piece i went ahead and wrapped it around the picture that way it can tuck behind and I don't have to worry about it falling off as frequently or as easily and I did need a little bit more space for the other things that I'm going to add on here so I wanted to spread that out a little bit so I'm just going to make a couple adjustments to it to make sure that it all looks nice and beautifully fallen over the center of the um, fireplace and yeah just go. We're gonna go ahead and add to it and add some more fullness to it, some more color, some more of that gold and silver. So we're gonna add a couple of these sticks. So I've got some glittery silver ones and some shiny gold ones. I'm just gonna add them in symmetrically throughout the plant, throughout the mantle, just to kind of add a little bit extra to the overall look. The thing about these is they are flexible and you can move them around, so you can put them in where you would like to. you feel good couple hanging down I'm using that same technique with this photo there's a little bit of space under there and these are not very heavy so I'm just 
kind of stabilizing them under the photo. kind of mix it up a little bit and then we're almost done. golden and silver holly pieces has added some extra volume and texture to our very thin garland. So we're going to continue to add to our fireplace, but we are almost done, you guys. And I think it's starting to look pretty good. It's coming together great. <music> Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our final pieces. So I have a couple of these little deers that are going to be on each side of the uh, photo. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our stockings. So just find a little place for them to frolic in the wilderness, if you will, of this garland. So now we're gonna add our stocking holders. I found these beautiful silver presents and they are the stocking holders. It's prettier than your normal hook, and it just adds an extra element of decor to the mantle, and I think it's gonna look very beautiful. So I'm gonna put these on the outside of my deer to kind of keep my pattern of gold and silver going, so we can go ahead and hang our stockings as a last thing. stocking holders up it's time to add our stockings one for me one for Marcus gray gray is a big theme it works with the mixed metal it works plays off the silver so we're gonna go ahead and add these in on both sides little Lux tip is to keep your stockings from feeling floppy and just kind of there if you're someone like me who keeps all of their grocery bags as little trash bags for your bathroom or wherever in your house um, you can add those and stuff those in or just use the bags that you bought from Hobby Lobby. Stuff that in there. and I hope you get to decorate a beautiful mantle for your chic chateau. So if you want to see more, go ahead and make sure you check out that empty house tour and you'll see all the rooms that eventually you will see more of what I'm going to decorate and how I'm going to set up this entire brand new space. And check out the blog at luxfoods.com if you would like to see more tips on home decor or fashion right over there. So thank you guys again. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and don't forget to live luxe. Bye.